The Swapo party has fielded candidates for the regional council and all the local authorities in Ojedun Juba, a region which President Gengob says has benefited immensely from the socio-economic development programs. Therefore, President Gengob asked the voters to vote for Swapo party candidates to continue implementing the programs under the party's manifesto, the Harambe Prosperity Plan and the NDPs. The party has also identified its own shortcomings in terms of the speed of service delivery. Now we have heard you. That's what was called. Swapo is admitting as a tried and tested party that we didn't always fulfill your needs, your demands. We, we have heard you. But we are saying, therefore, give us another chance. We have new people. New people, all young, I'm told, they are ladies, well balanced. Give them a chance to go to your municipalities, to be there, to deliver. The Namibian head of state also took a swipe at those calling for change, saying the voters must not be fooled into believing that no development has taken place under the ruling party since it came to power in 1990. The expansion of roads, housing, conducive environment for businesses to operate and farming are just some of the areas that the ruling party prides itself with. They want to change their good constitution. They want to change the constitution. That you said is one of the best. To change the freedom they are enjoying. Free speech to stop it. Free press to stop it. Stopping the building of roads, houses, provision of electricity. They are saying, come and vote for change. To change what? Peace. Peace that we are enjoying. To change what? To change what? Ask them. President Gengob also had strong words for the contesting candidates. You are there to serve while you are on Swapo ticket to, to serve all Namibians. Not to say drought relief food is only for Swapo. No. It is for all Namibians. Service delivery is for all Namibians. The Swapo party no. will battle for the control of Ojodonjuba region against more than five other political parties and independent candidates. The party currently controls five out of the seven constituencies in the region. The candidates are confident of retaining the five constituencies and taking Okakarara and the Omatako constituencies. As we have already started with our governor, we used to see, like in Okahanja, Ekunde, uh, the acceleration of housing. We want to make sure that every Namibian is having a roof. The current regional councillor for Oshiwarongo, Marlene Bakera, is the party's candidate. Her list of priorities include addressing the deteriorating employer-employee relations in the region. Our farm workers, our people in the security industry, and in the charcoal industry are the most that are suffering. Not excluding some workers in the mining industry. We will, we will work closely with those companies to ensure that our people are treated with the dignity they deserve. The Swapo party also vow to defend the movement against what they term as unjust attacks. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Oshiwarongo.